Hi everyone, welcome back to my subscribers and for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, this would be a great time to pause the video, hit the subscribe button and while you're there, try to find the little thanks button if you're feeling extra generous. Okay, this is going to be a very short video because I just want to sh uh, talk about one little trick or you can, you can call it a hidden gem that can help you minimize the amount of code, right? That can help you simplify the code. And this is called default dict. And if you know about it, don't bother watching this video. If not, just take the next five minutes or so in understanding how easy it is to simplify your code using little hidden gems. Okay, let's jump into the code before we extend this video any further. Okay, so I am on my spider IDE. It doesn't matter what IDE you are on. These are just a few lines of code in Python. So use your favorite IDE, but I just want to walk you through a simple scenario in plain English so you understand exactly what the core benefit of this default dict is. So for example, uh, think of uh, starting with an empty notebook. You, you, you are trying to keep track of the fruits that you have in your basket and you start with an empty notebook and you want to add three types of fruits. And this is apples, bananas, and uh, cherries and uh, to do this what do you do you open the notebook and you look for a page called apples uh, but you don't have a page yet so you create a new page right so you create a new page for apples and you say okay you add an entry of okay you have two apples uh, the same thing you do with bananas, right? So there is no page. If there is a page, you add the entry. If there is no page, then uh, you create a new page and then you add this entry. So basically you have to do this checking of, do I have it? If so, go ahead and add this number. If I don't have it, create this page and add this. Otherwise you get an error, right? I mean, if you don't have that page, and you're trying to retrieve that element from your dic uh, dictionary, that key from your dictionary, then it's like, hey, I don't have it, right? So uh, 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 you repeat this also for cherries. You have three fruits. Now, what happens if you, uh, if you have something, uh, when someone says, hey, uh, how many dates do you have? And you don't have it, right? So you go through, you flip through your book and you're like, okay, I don't, I don't have any dates in the book. Uh, 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 I mean, I don't even have a page for dates in the book, right? So you need to be very careful uh, because when you're maintaining all of these, you should not be making mistakes and accidentally forgetting to create a page for any of these fruits and so on. Okay, enough with the fruit example. If you walk through the code, this is exactly the scenario here. I uh, uh, I apologize for those advanced coders who for whom I made the, the video or the concept very simple, but I learned via simple English explaining things, dumbing it down if you want to call it, and that's exactly how I like to explain. So uh, apologies there. But let's say we, caught, uh, we start with our fruit counts, nothing, right? So and then you want to add fruit apple. What do you do? If that fruit uh, exists, then go ahead and add two. Otherwise, go ahead and add uh, the fruit, you know, equals to two. I mean, update this by two. Otherwise, you add this as two. Same thing you uh, look at bananas. You have one banana. Otherwise, uh, I mean, increment it by one. Otherwise, add a page and then add uh, one banana. When we say add a page, add the entry, right? In this case, same with cherries. Now, you also have to add date because uh it it doesn't exist and you know that someone is going to ask you about it so you add an entry for that and you say that hey there is no date so my value is going to be zero so when you actually look for in fact let's go ahead and run these lines up uh, not much uh, output there and if you put your fruit uh let's also run these lines uh, nothing much uh, to see over there. Now, if you're accessing this, when you say your fruit equals to date uh, and go ahead and print the fruit counts, you should get uh, obviously a value of zero because we deliberately added uh, uh, a date right there. What happens if we put, uh, I don't know, something like orange, right? You put orange and then you try to uh, print then it's printing zero because we don't have it. And uh, if you just print the first part right there, then uh, there is nothing going on right here. So you need to be a bit careful in terms of how deliberately you are actually coding this. But long story short, let's say you start with a magical notebook now, not just the uh, notebook where you're looking at the entries, but this magical notebook, which is nothing but our default dict that we are looking at, it automatically creates a page 
uh, when you mention the fruit. That's it. You don't have to deliberately add and verify and all of that. So now you can confidently write down. I don't want to read through this. I'll share this. Uh, I'll share this code anyway. Uh, look for the description for the location of this. Now, uh, so if you look at the code, look how simple it is. Very simple code right here. So what are we doing? We are using default dict, uh, dict that I am actually uh, importing from collections right there. And now I in in initiated that with an int as the default dictionary. And to this default dictionary, which is my fruit counts, I'm adding apples. I'm not saying if it exists and uh, increment by two. If it doesn't exist, then it adds it and uh, adds a value of two. So that's what this default dict actually does. So you all that if conditions, I mean, all this if part, you can you can simplify this very easily with a simple line right there. And finally, we are, are not talking anything about dates or anything else, right? So if you run these, and if you say, okay, uh, fruit counts date, because it doesn't know anything about date. In fact, let's go ahead and clear all the variables. There is a reason I'm using this IDE because it makes it easy to handle these variables. So let's go ahead and run these lines one more time to make sure no information from our previous uh, exercise uh, is gonna leak here. So now let's go ahead and do fruit, count, fruit counts and we should get a value of zero, output value of zero. So it looks at this default dictionary and says, hey, you don't have date. So let me go ahead and give you a value of zero. Uh, now when you print counts, fruit counts, then you should get banana one, cherry three, and dates zero, apple equals to two, because we already called um, the dates up here. So I hope this makes sense. Uh, again, in real life scenario, you may not only have three values, right? You may have hundreds or in some cases uh, in your dictionary, in which case this becomes even more uh, useful. I hope you appreciate this tip. And if you really like this type of tips and tricks, uh, just let me know. I'll do more of these. Otherwise, I keep fo focusing on large projects. My normal videos are 30, 40 minutes where we try to do some sort of a uh, major project. And if that's something of interest to you, of course, you should be subscribing to this channel. Thank you very much.